Welcome to the lecture on quick introduction to Docker. As a part of the Docker introduction and fundamentals, we are going to go over some of the important concepts of Docker, the different components used in Docker, and some of the real world problems that Docker attempts to solve. As a part of this course, you will look at Docker components and Docker concepts. As far as Docker components, you will be going over Docker Engine, Docker Hub, Docker Machine, and Docker Compose. Docker Swarm is not covered as this is an introductory level course. Kitematic is also not covered as it's still in beta. As far as concepts, we will see how to create Docker containers, how to work with Docker images, how to mount Docker volumes, how to commit Docker images to a repository, how to tag them in a repository, how to push them to a repository or pull them from a repository, and some of the command line tools used in Docker. Now let's take a look at what is Docker and how it differs from the other virtualization technologies available. Docker is a platform for developing, shipping, and running applications using a container-based virtualization technique. On this slide, let's take a look at that picture. The picture depicts the difference between Docker and a virtual machine. As you can see, the left-hand side runs the virtual machine, such as hypervisor, and the right-hand side runs the Docker engine. Both of them sit on top of the host operating system, which is the operating system on the server. The hypervisor, on the other hand, has a guest operating system. And the guest operating system has all the softwares and the applications which are installed. On the other hand, the Docker engine does not have a guest operating system. So let's take a look at the differences apart from the guest operating system in terms of the containers versus the virtual machines. Docker runs the same operating system as the host operating system. Now, there are some benefits to this. This allows us to share all the resources of the host operating system. In order to achieve this, the team at Docker originally used Linux containers, also called LXC. But later on, they moved to run C, also called as lib containers. Docker also features a layered file system called the AUFS. So it not just only has a read part, but also has a write part and can be merged together as far as its relationship with the host operating system. One could have common parts of the operating system as read only and then give each container its own mount for writing. Virtual machines, on the other hand, get its own set of resources allocated to it and do minimal sharing with the host operating system. Of course, there's advantages of using the virtual machine as well. Virtual machine, for example, is more isolated, but it can be very heavy on the resources. Docker gives you less isolation, but the containers are lightweight. From a Java development perspective, Docker suits the need the best. If you need to know more differences between virtual machines and Docker, I highly recommend Google search on how is Docker different from a normal virtual machine and you will see a Stack Overflow page pop up. That page actually has all information you would need to understand all the differences in detail between a normal virtual machine and Docker. Since this is an introductory level course and more specific to Java developers, I'm going to cover something specific to Java. Thank you.